just seen this video, right? How to survive living in your car. You all know the best way to survive living in your car? Don't live in your fucking car. I lived in my car for a year from the middle of 2016 to the middle of 2017. Don't let TikTok fool you. They make it look like this shit cool. All luxurious and shit. Nah, these motherfuckers capping, bro. That shit was not fun. But I'll give you some tips. Get your fucking knife. Don't get your gun. But make sure it's a box cutter. I'm telling you why. Cause the cops gonna fuck with you. That's what the fuck they do. We have weapons. No, I don't got no fucking weapons. And they fuck around and find a box cutter. They can't say shit to you. Oh my fault, I work in a factory. That's for work. But somebody fuck with you. you cut them the fuck up. What else? Um, make sure you have spray all the fucking time. Cause you gonna sweat. Cause it's hot. Get you some fucking baby wipes. It's refreshing when it's hot as fuck outside. Make sure your windows tinted. Once again, cause it's hot as fuck outside. Get you a gym membership. Make sure it's a 24 hour gym. And go around like midnight. Every fucking day. Get a shower. They ain't even gonna ask you shit. Nobody gonna see you. You get the best fucking shower. In and out that motherfucker. You don't even gotta pretend like you work out. I'm make sure you quit drinking. And you quit smoking. Then you gonna be bored as fuck living in your car. You gonna wanna smoke. And you gonna wanna drink. You be so fucking bored that you gonna end up doing it. A lot. You gonna waste a lot of fucking money. Then you gonna prolong getting the fuck out of your fucking car. Let me tell you something about motherfuckers that live in their car. They don't get as much ass as you think they would. I'm telling you this from experience. But don't nobody want to get clapped by a motherfucker that live in that car. Also, I hope you like chips and gas station food, corner store shit, because that's what the fuck you going to be in. I know you see motherfuckers cooking on top of their fucking motors and shit, portable skillets and shit. Majority of motherfuckers that live in their car, they really don't do that. They only be hot as fuck. Why well, I want to make it hotter with this fucking grease shit? No, I'm going to eat these Cheetos. That's what the fuck I'm going to eat. But don't get into eating fast food. But once again, you're going to end up wasting money like a motherfucker on that shit. You're going to live in your car longer than you got to. Also, get you a portable fan that runs on batteries and a portable phone charger. Cause if not, you gonna try to charge both of them motherfuckers onto your car. Gotta turn your car on. You gonna be bored as fuck. Then you gonna fall asleep. Then you gonna wake up two hours later. And you gonna notice either you done ran up all your fucking gas, more money, or your motherfucking battery is dead. And you gonna have nowhere to get to work the next motherfucking morning. You find somebody that got jumper cables and shit. Once again, I'm telling you this shit from experience. Obviously, the only places you can park to sleep without cops fuck with you is Walmart. Make sure you're very selective with the Walmart you go to. Also, find you a 24-hour laundromat. They got air conditioning, they got Wi-Fi, and they got power outlets. So you can charge your shit in there. Why are you cooling the fuck off? What I did was I befriended the owners of the fucking laundromat. So they knew I was there all the fucking time. They knew me by my first name. And make sure that you get you a fucking hobby. Because you're going to be bored a lot. That shit not fun. The only time you ever want to do overtime is when you live in your fucking car. It's not for me. I ain't do overtime. Because I'm a lazy motherfucker. For real shit, get you a hobby. See, the hobby that I picked up when I was living in my car was making videos. And they really sucked at first. But I did a lot of fucking videos. That took me about four years. But by 2020, that ended up here. And voila, that, that, that's how I got to this point right now. So I wasn't all bad. But fuck.